Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Wednesday, October 21st. And today I'm gonna to be talking about COVID-19 and its impact on younger adults. Well, according to Dr. Fauci, our nation is in the middle of an explosive pandemic and the end is not in sight. But the president has said that Americans are over COVID. Yep, he said people are tired of COVID and that there are gonna be spikes with or without vaccines. People are tired of COVID. He also called the good doctor, Dr. Fauci, a disaster. Well, again, I'm not here to criticize the president but what I will do is really show the facts. The facts show that in Ohio, more people are hospitalized with the coronavirus than at any other time during this pandemic. The facts show that in North and South Dakota and Wisconsin, these states are in a major healthcare crisis. In the South, the region of the United States that has had a persistent high rate of COVID infection. Since June, there's no end in sight. The facts show that nationwide, the proportion of COVID-19 cases involving kids is growing. Children represent anywhere from 12 to 16% of new cases of COVID-19 over the last three, two months. And over 3,200 children have been hospitalized. The facts show that almost all of the pediatric COVID deaths are in African-American, Hispanic, and indigenous American children. And the facts are data from the CDC, which show that the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States has shifted toward younger people in the age groups of 20 to 39 years of age. They are showing up in emergency rooms, needing treatment. They are getting hospitalized. They are testing positive. Now this 20 to 39 year old age group, many of them are recovering, but the CDC data says that one in five persons between the ages of 18 to 34, who tested positive for COVID. Now, they, these aren't folks that ended up in the hospital on a ventilator, but they just have not recovered their health after a few weeks. A lot of these people are chronically ill and some may need long-term care. You know, they're being called long haulers Previously healthy people who get COVID-19, they're not sick enough to be hospitalized. They're not sick enough to be on the ventilator, but they get really sick after COVID. And some can suffer fatigue, recurring headaches, persistent fevers, trouble breathing, and like this brain fog, which makes it difficult to remember things or to focus. The facts are that this virus has infected almost 8.5 million people here in the United States. And many people are finding out that you can survive COVID, but basically lose everything because you have physical and mental complications from this virus that doctors don't really know how to treat or even explain. These young people are in the primes of their lives and many will lose years of quality life behind this virus. So I know I'm no longer in that 20 to 39 year old age group, but we have to find a way to get the message out to them. We know that they're socializing. We know that they're doing lots of uh, essential working uh, in the workforce, but we have to find a way to encourage them to protect themselves. They've got to restrict their in-person gathering and events, wear masks, wash their hands, and socially distance. 
We gotta get them to change their eating and drinking venues to outside and open up the windows if they're gathering indoors. We need them to wash their hands and wear the mask if they're around older family members who may be at high risk for COVID-19. Please I'll share this message. Spread it as far and widely as you can to anybody that you know that can benefit. We've got to protect our young people because they are our future. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. My views are my own. Stay safe, stay connected, stay alive. Practice the three W's. And remember, the best coronavirus infection is the one that never happens. My views are my own.